Hi guys, hope all you are fine. Welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is the CC 3.1 welding and spectral latest question, the same as well with previous video. This is part 9. Part 1 to part 8, the, all are the important questions are there. So you can go through the all questions there with explanation. So this is the part 9, also the good questions are here. So we can start. Before we start the video, let's I introduce myself. This is Ananta with you and I am a mechanical engineer with 16 year experience almost uh, Gulf and India. So anybody you people need help from me regarding the questions, how the exams will be there in Gulf. So you can just text me in YouTube box, then I can guide you. So before so those people still not subscribe my channel so you can subscribe subscribe it so the link you see here it is blinking here the subscribe button just subscribe just click to subscribe it for regular update because I am doing video uploading video in regular basis so if you subscribe it then definitely you can get easily notification for this video so subscribe to get the regular updates and need your valuable comments if you need any videos like if you are thinking that this video is very important for me so you can ask me so i can upload that video so this is my youtube channel you see here www.youtube.com welding and duty inspection so you can go through this YouTube channel and you can see so many videos are there regarding C-Swift and regarding the various types of welding process and welding inspection. So you can get all this important video with this YouTube channel. So let's start. The first question is austenitic stainless steel are not susceptible to HICC because why it is not the austenitic stainless steel why not susceptible to HICC so the option is they are non-magnetic they are stainless and contain chromium they don't harden during heating and cooling they are highly ductile they are non-magnetic this is not this is not the right one it's magnetic they are stainless and contain chromium so it is not stainless and content chromium. There is so many alloys are involved in this austenitic stainless steel. They don't harden during heating and cooling. Definitely the austenitic stainless steel, it is not like martensite. They don't harden during and heating and cooling. They are highly ductile. Definitely not. So you can see now HICC is hydrogen induced cold cracking. HICC means hydrogen induced cold cracking. So it is not susceptible HICC in austenitic stainless steel. Suspectable microstructure means hardness greater than 400 Hb because means it is martensite form. So in martensite form, it is austenitic stainless steel. It is not the martensite form. So you can see here. 300 series austenitic stainless steel has austenite as its primary phase. These are alloys containing what are the alloys? Chromium and nickel, and sometimes molybdenum and nitrogen. Structure structure around the type 30 to composition of iron 18% chromium, 8% nickel, and 200 series austenitic stainless steel are replaced the majority of their nickel content with manganese to reduce cost. So the 200 series magnetic uh, austenitic stainless steel, it is the majority, it is nickel is there with the manganese for reduce the cost. So definitely austenitic stainless steel are not hardenable by heat treatment. So it is not hardenable by the heat treatment. So correct answer will be option C, they don't harden during heating and cooling. So option answer C is the correct answer. Question 2. 
the higher the alloy content of steel means the alloy content in higher of steel what will happen option is the lower of the lower the tendency for hicc to occur means hydrogen induced cold cracking will be lower of tendency the higher of tendency for hicc to occur high alloy steel do not influence hicc susceptible and none of the above so definitely the higher of the alloy what will happen means if you see here susceptible microstructure hard beetle structure martensite side promoted the high carbon steel means definitely the higher the tendency of our hicc to occur you see here increasing the carbon content what will happen i just explain to you you see here increasing the carbon content increasing the carbon content will increase the strength but what will happen increase getting the risk of the formation of martensite when martensite will form then definitely the correct answer will be the higher the tendency of hicc occur you can see the answer b so answer a is the not right answer c not and answer d also not so correct answer will be option b Question three: Which one of these statements is true concerning solidification cracking? This is very important. It is related with the sulphur. So, A option is only occurs in MMA welding. Definitely not. It is not occur MMA welding. Increased depth to width ratio will increase stress. It can be the correct one. Never occurs in MIG mag welding. it can be mig mag welding it occurs no all of the above it is not so the correct answer will be increase depth with to with ratio will increase stress you see solidification cracking means hot crack can occur when weld metal has a high carbon or impurity sulfur content if there is a high carbon or high sulfur content is there definitely the solidification cracking will be generated there so what will happen the depth to width ratio of the solidifying weld bead is large ma means depth and width the ratio of this cracking is very weld bead is large to increase the stress there will when the depth to width ratio will be more of the weld bead then definitely In, it will it will increase the stress so option b is the correct answer question 4 a solidification crack normally occurs where a through the hedge longitudinal through the weld center line c is the transverse through the weld can occur anywhere definitely not through the hedge no longitudinal is the correct one transverse the weld no it will not and can occur anywhere no so you can see here explanation you see this is the usually occurs weld center line this is the center line it is going like this way for deviation cracking so you understand the option b is the correct one weld decay is caused by the formation of a compound with carbon the other element in the in this compound is so you know in weld decay there is a formation one of the carbon so what will be the another one with the formation compound with the carbon the other element one is manganese second is sulfur third is chromium and fourth is nickel so you need to know occurs when weld decay an area in the hedge an area in the hedge has been sensitized by formation of chromium carbides so hedge area always sensitized by the formation of chromium carbide so the option the correct answer will be the chromium this this area is in the form of a line running parallel to and on both sides of the oil this depletion of chromium will leave the affected grains low in chromium oxide which is what produce in corrosion resisting effect of stainless steel 
So you understand now an area in the hedge has been sensitized by the formation of chromium carbide. So in the oil decay, that is the very important the another form the by the formation of a compound with carbon. What is the element? The element name is the chromium. The answer will be the option C. The direction, the question six, the direction of sinkage in a oil joint R. So you see the direction of the sinkage in a oil. There is a sinkage in the oil, oil jet joint. What will be the direction could be? A is transverse and diagonal. B is transverse, short transverse and conical. C is transverse, short transverse and longitudinal. And D is angular, diagonal and Tens granular. Definitely, there is some problem. Diagonal, no. There is no like this type of sinkage. No, there is not conical, no. Tens verse, okay. Shortness verse is okay. Longitudinal is okay. Because this term, it is not related with the welding. Angular, no. Diagonal, no. This is not tens. So this is not related to the holding. The correct answer will be the option C. You can see here. Residual stresses occur in weld of the following direction. Along the weld. Okay. This is along the weld. This is longitudinal. Across the weld. From here to here. This is across the weld. This transverse. And through the weld. Means from here to here. This is the short transverse. The three conditions. One is longitudinal. Second is the transverse and third is the short transverse. So correct answer will be option C. Question number seven. In a single pass weld, the width of the zone in which longitudinal residual stresses are. So see, in a single pass weld, the width of the zone in which longitudinal residual stress. Independent of the weld width, narrower than weld metal, the same width as the weld metal, wider than the old metal and the heat affected zone. So definitely in a single pass oil, if you see the width of the zone in which longitudinal residual stress, definitely it should be wider than the old metal and the heat affected zone. So it should be wider than the in single pass means it should be always the wider than the old metal and the heat affected zone. So the question number eight, it was the, the term backstep during, referred to during welding. So what do you mean by backstep during welding? Backstep means you finish one run and you are starting again the starting position. So you can see here, one, two, three, and then again four, five, six. So they are going like this way, this way, this way, this way. Then you can start here from four, five, and six. It is going like this way. So distortion prevention by fabrication technique. This is the fabrication technique distortion prevention. One is the back step welding, another is the skip welding. So this is the correct answer will be definitely it is not a QA term. This is not a step wedge. It is not a step wedge radiograph. It is a well run sequence. So the correct answer will be answer D means option D. Question 9. Sequential welding is referred to with, with reference to which of the following? For distortion, for residual stress, for fatigue life or not associated with any of the above. Definitely sister, sequential, sequential welding we do because of to prevent the distortion. You see, distortion prevention, same question, 8 and 9, some question meaning is different. So, the 9 question, the answer will be distortion, not residual stress, not fatigue life, not associated with the other above. So, correct answer will be the distortion. Answer A. Question 10. A typical temperature for stress relieving carbon manganese steel weldment is? So a typical temperature for stress relieving of carbon manganese steel. What will be the temperature? 580 to 620 or 5000 degree to 6200 6, degree centigrade or 75 degree centigrade to 80 degree centigrade or option D is 1500 degree centigrade to 1800 degree centigrade. So this is 
we should know the temperature in stress leaf 550 to 650 degree centigrade no phase transformers transformation cooling hold furnace or control cooling result what will relieve residual stress improve stability during machining reduce hydrogen level prevent stress corrosion cracking so stress leaf is very important because of we relieve the all the stress hydrogen level prevent stress corrosion so the approximately the answer will be the the temperature approximately is 550 to 650 degree centigrade so answer will be the 580 to 620 degree centigrade it's not the correct one so the correct one is the option a question 11 a typical temperature for normalizing carbon manganese steel so what is the normalizing temperature for carbon manganese steel it is i know this is 900 degree centigrade not 200 it is normalizing it is normalizing 1200 degree very important question this one that's why so you see here the normalizing of steel the temperature 920 degree centigrade hold for sufficient time cooling hold slow cooling air so you can see here the normalizing temperature 920 so the correct answer will be the approx 900 degrees centigrade so i think these questions are very helpful 11 questions are here the answer will be the c 11 questions with the explanation i think you enjoyed this video if you have any query any questions regarding this any question Please just text to me, just I can explain to you. Thanks a lot. Please like, share and subscribe my channel to get the regular video. Take care.